Hello there, we're again at the orchard on the first Saturday of June and this is uh, in the Phil Barrel Orchard which is a mixture of cider and rare dessert fruit. This one is looking quite good on the whole and we'll need some fruit thinning. However, all is not well with this tree. Um, this is a nasty gash we can see. A really big, ugly hole in this tree. That is just not good. And we're wondering about cutting the whole tree down. Uh, it's worse around the, on that side, but there's more than the other. So look at that, that is pretty destructive. And this is all due to the leopard moth. Uh, Professor Keith Godfrey, with whom I work, very clever man, very decent man, um, as well as his achievements in dermatology, for which he received a CBE. Um, uh, I won't go on about that, but he's, he's uh, very keen on moths and butterflies and stuff. And I told him about how some of my trees were being really badly damaged by the leopard moth. He said, oh, but they're beautiful moths. <laughs> yeah, but this tree is probably going to die. Um, having said that, the tree overall is in reasonable health. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, make several films over a couple of years and just see how this does. See if the leopard moth will actually kill the tree. Um, so we're just going to have a little walk around the orchard. As I say, this is the, the, the fill barrel section of our orchard. Over that way is the uh, bunyard section. Over that way uh, is the cobbit section. Sorry about the wind, can't do much about it. Um, so, one should always be having an orchard walk, walking around with no tools um, so as to be distracted and start doing a job. You are doing a job, you are watering an orchard walk and having a look to see what's going on. Uh, that looks alright. Mm, that looks alright. That's not quite right there. Bit of a dung somehow resting up against the... Uh, you don't want dung resting against the tree. Just, you've just been doing some uh, mowing. So a lot of trees don't look too bad. This is a good time of year to do a canca walk because there'll probably be a bit of canca in the orchard, some microbial disease that uh, will destroy the bark and obviously all the bark, all the, the tree that grows beyond that point will die. Uh, just as, uh, you know, if the blood supply to your leg is cut off, your leg will get gangrene and die. And we've found a few bad examples. Here's the particularly bad one that Julia found uh, today. So what do you think is going on here, Julia? Well, I first of all saw there was a lot of dieback as I was mowing past it. I then saw all this broken bark. I thought, oh dear, that's got bad canker. And as you follow see. down, you see there's bad. another big cavity here, like the one we saw the And you see there's a long gash. What happens is the leopard moth lays its egg and the, the grub burrows into the wood. But then the um, woodpeckers hear the grub inside and they excavate a huge um, gash along the tunnel that the grub has made in order to find the grub to eat it. So the, the offending grub has been consumed, but this big piece of damage has been left. And this... Uh... This is a pretty sickly anyway. This is not going to do very well, is it, to, well, put, it, is to put it mildly. Uh, There's also more dead bits around the other side here. Now let's see what's going on here. So this tree looks pretty bad. You see there's been some damage under here. It looks like it's been scraped. I don't know if a bird has done that or if we did that when we were working out here. Something's happened to damage the bark there. We've got another dead bit here going back in. Ooh. So I think this tree needs a friendly... Yeah. Do you think it can be saved? I think the tree itself can be saved if we cut it very low. For example, you could cut it down to this, preserve this shoot here, cut to slanting cut there, and take this one out maybe to that bud. So you're looking at radical. Yeah, and a whole restructuring of the tree which is in really bad shape anyway. Would it be better to cut the whole thing out and plant a new tree? 
We can't plant a new tree in this exact position because of apple replant disease. Um, and it will take probably five years before we get any fruit off a newly planted tree on these soils. So we had an experience with, uh, with doing this sort of thing before? Mm. So I, my recommendation would be to continue growing on these roots. So we've got two choices. We can either grow this variety by cutting above the grafting point, or we can cut very low at ground level even and get a nice sucker coming up from the root stock and then graft that over to a chosen variety. And because that new part is growing on the roots that have been sustaining this size of the tree, yeah. they will grow away very quickly and you'll get fruit much quicker. Right. I've just seen another hole here, another leopard moth hole. It may not be another creature, it may be the same, let's just snap this out the way so you can film it, the same creature that the woodpecker was trying to get it from the other side, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's all very well, and I've mentioned uh, uh, Jenny Mitchell before, dear lady, very precious to me and to many others, uh, with her, hey, come on farmers, put away the DDT now, give me spots on my apples, give me the birds and the bees. Ah, ah, ah. And, uh, you know, it's true, isn't it? You know, we don't like using crop protection chemicals and we like to have a, a wild degree of nature to some extent, but there's a price to be paid, isn't there? You know, there's um, a lot of the, there's a lot of bacteria and fungi and insects and indeed uh, vertebrate animals who would like to destroy so you, you, and this is why I'll finish the video presently. It's just so important that you do an orchard walk reasonably often, but this time of year, late spring, early summer, summer's a bit late this year coming, uh, you should go around looking for anything that's dead, because if it's dead, you cannot bring it back to life, not in uh, the trees. So if it's dead, cut it out down to clean wood uh, and burn the... Uh, the, the wood that you remove to destroy any um, pests. So, about anything else you add to that, Julia? I think that's all I wanted to say about the, the canker. But it's important to do a walk, isn't it, and have a look and see what's going on. And get rid of this dead wood out of the orchard. We don't want to leave that there rotting and getting fungi. Yeah, get it out, burn it, maybe cook some burgers.